Panasonic AVUHS 500 and recording macros was not intuitive for me. Ran through the operating instructions a couple of times and didn't quite get it, but after a little bit of monkey punching around, I figured it out. My problem was, was when I went to record a macro, um, I would constantly be continuing to record a macro that somebody else had made and I couldn't do a clean one. So let me just walk you through the steps. Um, right now I'll just recall, uh, let's recall one of my themes. Alright, so I have a theme and <clears throat> pulled up and right now I'm just doing destination macros. Uh, you see aux1 is on input 9, aux2 is on program, Three program four is on input seven. So let's just create one where all the destinations, all four destinations, are on input eleven. So I'll press macro and then press edit. And this is where I was running into an issue: was this event, like the um, each movement, was being tabulated, and when I started this process this was like at 57 and I couldn't find a way to clear this but after you press edit just hit this number seven which says new and you'll see those reset down to zero ta-da so now that you've got them reset to zero then come over here and press record you see the indicator that you're recording so now I'm just gonna go to my destinations or whatever you need to record and I'll set them all to input 11. Ox 2, 11. Ox 3, 11. Ox 4, 11. Alright, I see my events are all there. And I'm happy with my macro setup. So after I'm done recording, I just press record again. The indicator is gone. So now I want to store that. So I'm going to press store. And you can see that I've already got six macros created. And on my macro input list, you can see that I've got six created. So I'm going to put it on macro number seven, which is not indicated. You have you can sort up to 100 macros, and they're on pages, uh, 10 per page. So right now we're on page one, and you can see that indication over here. If I wanted to change pages of where I'm storing it, just hit the page button, hit page two, and you can see the indicators have now changed to 2, 1 through 2, 10. Same thing through page 7, if I want to throw something on page 7. For this macro though, I'm going to start on page 1. So, page 1. And my next available spot is 7. So, store is indicated, and I'm just going to hold down 7. You can see, there's my new macro. Um, and to recall it, I just hit the recall button. 7 and it's there. Let me go ahead and, uh, and show you that it's actually there. Now all of my destinations are set to input 11. Let me recall a different macro and now my destinations are set to something different. Alright. Um, to get the macros, uh, so you can recall macros up here by pressing recall and then recalling the macro button. If you want to move them down here to the aux bus, so that when you press this and hit the recall, you make sure that you're in your macro menu here, and then you can assign your cross point button uh, right here. You can also rename the macros as well if you need to, but this suits me. I can just one through seven, whatever. If I wanted to put custom names in there, I could. That step is a little bit more intuitive. Let's see if I can punch down here. I don't think it's on this page. Oh yeah, it is. So if I wanted to change the name, and you can do this through the GUI, it's the same thing. So the uh, I just created macro number seven. So register page one, number four. I'm gonna change that to seven. And then rename. And here I can type in uh, whatever I wanted to name this. So let's say I wanted to name it. Sorry about focusing. Let's hit clear. And then I'll just name this. 
seven. How about that? Seven. Hit OK. And there's my renamed macro number seven. So I'm not actually going to use that. So I'll show you how to delete it. It's very easy. Just press delete. Obviously I can tell I'm still on page one. There's my macro number seven. And I just hold down the seven button. It's gone. Deleted. Hopefully that helps you.